Hello, this video discusses the different aspects of this online graphing calculator course. This course was developed to teach an individual how to use their graphing calculator. This course may be used in one of three ways. It can be a supplement to any high school mathematics classroom. It can provide a foundation for a school to offer a graphing calculator course elective. Or it can be used by any individual. To get started, you can click on the link found inside the paragraph or the Module 1 link found in the top right hand corner. When you click on that Module 1 link, it takes you to the lesson number 1 in Module 1. Now, each one of these lessons is structured in the same manner, so I'm going to click on lesson number 6 to explain these in more detail. Each lesson's web page consists of the following a video that will help you get started with the lesson, the title for the lesson a before you begin this lesson checklist, complete the following for this lesson, and then also links in the top right hand corner to the other lessons inside this module. Before I can go into any more detail on these pages, I need to show you an example of the notes and how they're set up. So if I click on the notes for lesson number six, it should pop up in a new tab or a new window on your computer, and you'll see the titles up there for lesson six and then each one of these lessons will have a short little write-up about the function being used and then a little practice set following it for you to practice using that function now in this practice set there's two different types of problems you're doing there's problems labeled LP and that is short for lesson practice and then there's problems labeled R R1 R2 and R3 and that is review for you to do in days following this lesson. So let me show you how lesson number six would actually work. I would go to this checklist before you begin this lesson and complete the items on this list. The first one is usually downloading the notes for the lesson. So if I were to click on this link to bring up the notes for lesson number six I would then print them out, put them in my notebook and then I'm ready to go on to the next items in the checklist. And the next two items are actually from lesson number three. It says set one, review number three, set two, review number three. Now lesson three was completed three days ago and this is review for that lesson. So if I go to those notes to show you, remember this was completed three days ago. So I would have the lesson practices completed on set one and the only thing that I would have left to do is this review number three. Same thing for set two. I would have the lesson practices and the review one and the review two completed already and the only thing left to do here would be the review number three. So after I complete these review number threes I would go on to my next items in the checklist and it's from lesson number four, set one, review two. Now, Set four, or lesson number four we completed two days ago. So let me show you what you'd have complete in this lesson. You'd have the lesson practice completed. You'd have the R1 completed already. And you're told to complete the R2 for today. Now don't go on to R3 because that is for tomorrow's review on this lesson. Just do what the checklist says. So just complete the R2. And then once you do that, go on to your next item in the checklist. And this says lesson five, set one, review number one. Lesson five, set two, review number one. So let me show you what that lesson would look like. So here's lesson number five. Here's set one, and you would have completed the lesson practice, number one and number two for this lesson. And it's instructing you to complete the R1 for today. And just complete that. Do not move ahead to the R2 or the R3 because the R2 is for tomorrow and the R3 is for two days down the road. And the same thing with set two. You'd have the L or the lesson practice number one, the lesson practice number two done, and you would complete the R1 for today. So after you've completed the items on the checklist for before you begin this lesson, you can then go on to the checklist for the actual lesson. And it says complete the following for this lesson. And for lesson number six, it says set one, lesson practice number one, and lesson practice number two. And lesson six, set two, lesson practice number one, and lesson practice number two. So let's go to the notes and see what they look like. So here's set one, 
lesson practice number one and number two is what we would need to complete for this day. And for the set two, we have lesson practice number one and lesson practice number two we would need to complete. Now, do not go on to the reviews, R1, R2, and R3. Those are for upcoming lessons that would review this lesson. Now, there's two ways in, in which you can approach these lessons. One way is you can just read the little write-up in each lesson and then dive right into the lesson. Or you can go to the web page, watch a video on the lesson in which I go over an example or two on these lessons to help get you started and then complete your lesson. If you have any questions or come across any problems or glitches with this course, please contact us by using this link on the left. Just provide your email, your question or comment, and then click on the submit button below and it will be sent directly to our email.